Well, hello there. Welcome back to another weekly video here at Child Care Business Executive Tools. My name is Ashley Benz. I am the founder and creator of Child Care Business Executive Tools. I am also a child care business strategy consultant. And um, basically what I do for anybody who's new to me is I actually help you. So if you have the desire of wanting to start your own child care business, okay? Um, I help you do that. So I basically help people become licensed, become licensed child care uh, business owners. And then if you are uh, already in business, I help you automate your child care business systems and processes. And basically my main goal for all child care business owners is to help you do these three things Number one, ensure that your child care business is financially healthy. Number two, help you ensure that you are providing quality care for children and families. And the most important thing that I am so passionate about is making sure that you take care of yourself. Okay, so for anybody that's new to me, um, uh, what qualifies me to do all these things is that I actually owned, operated, ran, and directed a child care business for 10 years. And so I have been through licensing, I know um, all about everything that goes into running a successful child care business. And basically what I did was, um, hi Natasha, how are you, how are you? Um, basically what I did, you guys, I basically ran my child care business the wrong way. I ran it without child care business automation. And then I also, you know, ran it with. And so anyway, y'all, just, I could tell you a lot of different stories, but today what we're going to be talking about is, um, where's my, oh, symptoms of childcare business growing pains. Yes, this is going to be good. So here's what I need for you to do. I need for you to go ahead, grab you something to sip on, get you a pen, grab you some paper, um, because y'all know it's going to be good today. Okay. So <laughs> hi, Sherry. How are you? Oh, thank you so much, Sherry. For those of you that are watching on YouTube, Sherry says that you have been a blessing to me this year. So, Sherry, y'all are always blessings to me. I'm telling y'all, I, I love what I do. And, um, I mean, really, without you guys, like, there is no me. You know, there is no child care business exec executive tools. There's, there's no reason for me to get up here and be talking. So, I appreciate you guys. And, Sherry, I'm so happy for you, um, you know, that that you are uh, learning from my content here, and that's what it's all about. Hi, Mary Bell. How are you? Mary Bell, girl, let's, look at you. You got a top fan badge on. There you go. Happy Thursday. I love it. I love it. All right, so um, before we get started, as always, I want to invite you to share, like, and love this video, y'all, especially share it out, y'all, because there's a lot of people right now, a lot of child care owners people that are trying to get started and, you know, um, they're going through some growing pains. And sometimes we don't really realize that the things that is happening to us, symptoms, the overwhelmed, the burnt out, those kind of things, that is a sign of growing pains. And so I am going to give you three symptoms of a sign of growing pains. Now, you could be starting your child care business um, or, you know, already in business. And so anyway, I'm super excited about this topic and I'm going to tell y'all, it's happening to me. So it's so uh, that's why I brought it up. So I was like, well, if it's happening to me, it's also happening to, you know, you guys as well. So we're going to talk about it. We are going to talk about it. Um, okay. Now this video is also sponsored by my child care business startup roadmap guide y'all. It is up to date. It is brand spanking new. I've got a new video. So first of all, for anybody that remembers that guide, um, it's a little roadmap. And all that good stuff. Well, y'all, I've got a brand new video. It's an hour video. And I, I updated the guide and it's all free. So if you're trying to get started, um, I need for you to go on in there, you know, grab that, download that guide, spend a little hour with me where I walk you through it. And I'm telling you, you're going to get so much clarity. And like I said, it's been updated. So um, it's, it's, you know, all new information. So uh, I will be sure to leave the link to that down below once we get finished here. Okay, y'all. So, uh, again, symptoms of child care business growing pains. I feel like I went over all the preliminary things. Um, and so, yes. Okay. 
All right, so here is what, y'all, listen, look at me, look at me. I did not, I finished my notes, but, um, well, anyway, I didn't finish my notes, but anyway, I got them on back, so we're going we're gonna to roll with this. Okay, all right, so let me just kind of give you guys a little bit of backstory as to what's been kind of going on with me and, that, and why I thought about talking about this day. So, Child Care Business Executive Tools um, is going through some growing pains, okay, and, uh for me, you know, as a business owner, you know, this, so my business is, and you guys have heard me say this, but my business is like my child. And so whenever my child is, you know, um, dealing with something, obviously as a mom, you know, you're going to be also dealing with that as well. And a lot of times what the symptoms, um, you know, what symptoms usually, what the symptoms are, and what kind of happens is that we tend to go into overwhelm. Uh, we go into feeling tired. We go into feeling, um, you know, like we lose our confidence and, and all those things. And I know that, you know, you guys come to me and you look for me to uh, help you change your perspective on things and stuff like that. Uh, and and I'm, I'm glad to do that. But I just want to let you guys know right up front, I am human just like everybody else. And I deal with the same exact things, okay? I deal with the same exact things that you deal with, okay? Um, with me, I try to handle them, you know, the best way that I can. And obviously, by me being an entrepreneur for, um, is it 15 years now? I think, I think I'm going on 15 years of being an entrepreneur. I just learn stuff, you know, I just learn stuff, but I will tell you, it will get to you, okay? Being an entrepreneur, trying to start your child care business, trying to grow your child care business, it will get in your head, okay? Um, so, but anyway, and so anyway, that's why I'm bringing this topic today because I am also dealing with growing pains. And so anyway, it's really rel uh, relative to me. And so, and I, I know that you guys deal with that as well. So, all right, so here are the symptoms of that, okay? And so one of the things uh, that I wrote down here is that, um, Sometimes we don't even realize that we are even, that things that our business um, is shifting. And so we kind of, we kind of take it as, you know, somebody's out to get me, um, you know, uh, it ain't nobody but Satan. You know, we, we take it as those things when in reality, it could be God and he is trying to um, he is, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, you guys? Um, I don't want to say chastise him. He's not chastising, but he, he is trying to get you to move. And so sometimes the only way that he can do that is he's got to kind of tighten those screws up a little bit and make you uncomfortable and then you'll, you'll move. Okay. Um, so here are the three symptoms of any type of growing pain. So to let you know, okay, that, you are in a season where you need to stretch yourself and you need to grow. Number one, um, and uh, it is the fact that, you know, and I mentioned this a few minutes ago, but you're going to feel overwhelmed and burnt out, okay? You're going to feel overwhelmed and burnt out. You're going to feel less than. You're going to feel, you know, all these things. But here is the, the number one sign, or I'm sorry, one, I'm going to say this is the first sign, that you feel unsupported, um, and you feel like you need help. Okay. That is a sign of growing pains, right? And with that being said, whether you're trying to get started, okay, or whether you're already in business, if you ever feel like you are alone, like you need help, um, like you are unsupported, that is a sign of growing pains. Okay. And so uh, a lot of times what we do is that we do need that help. We do need, you know, someone else. We do need that sounding board. We do need that support. But instead, we continue to take everything up on ourselves. And then we complain about the fact that oh, I'm so overwhelmed. Oh, I've got so much going on. I don't know how I'm going to get this done. Right. Does that make sense? Because really what it is, is that you need to grow and you need to get some help. You need to get somebody to help you with those kids. You need to get somebody to help you with the business side of things. You need to get somebody to help you to understand why you're not profiting, why you can't get children in the doors, okay? 
why when the families come in, they don't want to, or they, and after they tour with you, they're not enrolling with you, okay? Why that you can't get that staff? See, we need to maybe get some outside assistance in helping us figure those things out. Instead of saying, I'm so overwhelmed, I don't know what to do, and kind of having that mentality. Because the only way, I'm getting ready to put my cup now, so y'all know, I'm gonna take a sip though before I do that, and I'm gonna put my cup down. <laughs> so I'm getting ready to, I'm getting ready to give you guys some goodness. Because here's the thing, we know, okay, you know, you know that to to be able to add that extra assistant out on hand, or to be able to hire that coach, or or get into that class, or whatever, that's going to require some sacrifice on your end. Okay, that might, it's going to require a lot of investing, money, time, efforts, energy, all those things. And for some reason, you and me, okay, we're afraid to do that. So what we do is we sit in it and then we complain about how much we're overwhelmed. Okay, number two is um, the other symptom of growing pains is the lack of knowledge. And so what that's going to feel like is that you just feel feel like that every, like you feel like that, you know, you'll read something or you'll come on here and watch my videos or, you know, you watch some other information, you try to go back and apply that, but it's still not working for you. Okay. Well, that's, that's a symptom. Um, so that symptom basically would be a symptom of frustration. You know, how come this is not working for me? You know, I see other people doing it and it's not working for me. And so therefore, again, you need to grow. That means you need to grow. It is time for you to grow. And what that means is that if the knowledge that you currently have is not working for you, that possibly means either one, you don't know how to use the knowledge. Okay. And that doesn't, that doesn't mean that you're not smart. So I don't want anybody on here saying, well, Ashley says I'm not smart. That's not what that means. It just means that you either don't know how to use the knowledge or you need some help in understanding you know, what all of that means. You need some navigation, okay? And so, um, I, you know, uh, one of the symptoms of growing pains is the fact that you need to know some things and when you feel like what you already do know is not working for you, then we need to grow and figure out how can I learn more, okay? And again, you guys, this goes into getting somebody else to help you with it. Getting somebody else to help you with it. So one of the things that, uh, for those of you that are new to me, uh, I'm a preacher's daughter. Uh, the Bible is my basis for how I live my life and where I get my information from. And so it kind of reminds me of, you know, studying the Bible, right? Um, the Bible can be very complex. It can, we all know it's intimidating. And so therefore, that's why there is resources out there like concordances. And I know back in the day when my, my dad, um, and still he's got all that, the books and all those kind of stuff. But, you know, we would get uh, concordances and things like that, like uh, Bible dictionaries to come in. And I, I, I'm adding this to what I do know to try to help me better navigate through scriptures and understanding the Bible. Now, I'm using that as an example because that's what's really relevant to me. So, But let's bring it down to what you're dealing with is running your child care business, okay? Um, hi, Tay. How are you? How are you? I hope you're having a good day. Come on in, girl, honey. We're talking about some good stuff here. So, uh, but let's just bring it down to what you're dealing with, okay? So I'm going to I'm gonna talk to those of you that are trying to get started. I'm going to talk to you for a second. And so one of the things that I get all the time is when we're starting our child care business and all that kind of stuff, well, you get walked with the licensing application process, okay? And it's a process, okay? And so you're looking at everything. You're, you're here, you're there. You're trying to understand it. Um, but it's kind of a lot to it. And then the things that go into getting the things done within the application can be a lot to it. And so, you know, a lot of times, again, it's like being able to have somebody to go to and say, okay, what does this mean? Or how do I need to do this? Right. Um, and so sometimes what I'm trying to get down to you to say, sometimes the knowledge that we have, um, it's just not enough. Or it, again, it could be that I don't fully understand how to use it 
to get me moving to the next, whatever the next step is. Does that make sense? Am I making sense here? Somebody please let me know if I'm making sense because I feel like I'm, I'm real deep right now with this, but um, I just want to make sure that this is all coming together the way that I wanted it to come together. So, um, okay. So symptom of growing pains is you, you, the information that you currently have um, is not working for you. Okay. That means we need to grow. We need to get more information and that might mean you need to get somebody else to help you navigate through the knowledge that you have. Cause see some of the, some of the times y'all, let me just tell you this right up front. Some of the times the knowledge that we have is actually everything that we need to move forward. But sometimes it is, sometimes we can just get in our own heads. Does that make sense? Like, you know, you can just get in your own head and we make it difficult than what it is. Okay. All right. Now I do want to speak to those of you that are already in business. And I want to give you um, give you all a symptom of a growing pain that would equal to ex that it's time for you to expand, and 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 that would definitely be overwhelm. Um, that would be that you have like you've got a lot of workload on your plate, um, and you've got a lot of children in the door and a lot of workload on your plate. Um, you're overwhelmed, and it's not to say that things are not going well. But you know that they could be going a whole lot better. And so, um, so again, we go into the overwhelm. We go into the, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. And we just really honestly, you guys, we really, really kind of take ourselves down to a level that is um, less than, if that makes any sense. Meaning that like you, okay, here's the thing about it. You know you're smart. You know that you can run a child care bit. You know those things, right? Like you wouldn't even be here if you felt like you didn't, or if there was even some kind of inclination that you felt like you could not do these things. You know that, but because of these, these outward things that, that go into trying to start your child care business and, try, and trying to run one, it makes you feel like you don't know what you're doing, right? It makes you feel like you don't know what you're doing. And you guys, I this happens to me all the time. I definitely call that the um, we call it the imposter syndrome, where we where you feel like you know, uh, well, you know, there's somebody else that's that's knowing how to run a childcare business better than me, and you, you, it's all these negative self talk that we do to ourselves. Okay, um, but the symptom of growing pains, okay, if you're already in business, is the fact that you need to expand, and so. A lot of times, again, what happens is that we mistake that, okay, for um, woe is me, this is not working, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. When in reality, you actually do know what you're doing, but the next thing that you need to do is you need to stretch yourself and move to the next step. But you are afraid to do that because of all of these things that's happening, because of the fact that you've got a load of paperwork on your desk and you don't know how you're going to get that done. Hello, hello, that is means that's if, if that's the case, okay, or uh or or you've got so many phone calls coming in and you don't even know how to answer them, you don't know how to bring these families in, you don't you don't have the time. Hello, that is telling you you need some help, okay? You need some help. And so again, you guys, please, please, what I'm trying to let you guys know right now, because I'm dealing with this myself. And so what I do is I go ahead and lean in, lean into it. Okay. I go ahead and lean into it. Um, your business will tell you what it needs and it tells you what stage that it's at and the way that it tells you and gets your attention is it makes you uncomfortable. Okay. So if you are uncomfortable, that is a sign and that's a symptom of a growing pain. The reason why that it's, that it's painful then the, now here here's a nugget right here. It's 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 getting ready to come your way. So if you're taking notes, write this down. The reason why that is painful is because you're setting in it instead of growing with it. Ooh, oh my word! <laughs> Y'all got to write that down. Somebody, we I got to, that has got to be a quote. Let me say it again if I can remember. It. All right. The reason why that it's painful is because. You were setting in it instead of growing with it. Oh my goodness. I, listen, y'all, I knew something was coming good today because I'm dealing with this myself. <laughs> so um, 
that's it. That is it. If y'all don't get anything from this video today, I'm going to say it one more time. The reason why it is painful is because you are setting in it instead of growing with it. Okay? Life tells you what you need to be doing. If you are uncomfortable with any situation, and it's, as y'all, this can go for all kinds of sorts of things, it is because you do not want, you're not growing. And growth, it is uncomfortable. You will got to stretch yourself. You will have to spend money you don't have, y'all. I'm spending some money right now. I just did not want to do it, but I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it, okay? I don't, I don't have a choice. And um, one thing else I do want to say is that a lot of us want to scale, you know, and we want to we want to do these big things, but we kind of forget. It's almost like, okay, if you're going to scale something, if you're going to scale your current child care business or you're trying to get started, you want to, you know, you want to do all that, um, especially if you're scaling. So let me just really talk more to that. But if you're trying to expand and scale your child care business, um, you know, when we are scaling something, there's other parts that are needed with it. And I mean, unless you want to stretch yourself to the point where, I mean, you can't even blink, you know, like you can't even come up for air. Basically, you cannot come up for air. I mean, unless you want to like be all up and, and stay in that and wallow in that, you will have to get some other people on board, y'all. I'm telling y'all, you'll have to get some people on board. OK, if you are a home child care business and you feel like that you are working way too many hours, you're going to have to get some people on board. Somebody else that can cut, help you cut back those hours and, and let you have a life. The, I don't, I don't, I do not believe in 60 plus hour work weeks. I think that it is, I really, I think it's counterproductive because, you know, um, the more that we work, we think that we're getting somewhere, but in reality, all we're doing, we're hurting our health. We're, we can't think straight. Because if you're working that many hours, 60 uh, plus hours a week, and you're not resting and you're not taking care of yourself we're, and we're not taking care of the temple of, um, you know, our, our bodies are temples of God. We're not taking care of that, y'all. There's no way that you can expand in your in your life and your business and all those kind of things. And so, um, so anyway, you guys, that is my, this is today's video. I'm going to leave this right here for you all. But here's what I want to tell you. Don't be afraid to stretch yourself and don't be afraid to do things that are uncomfortable, okay? In fact, as long as you are uncomfortable, but you are, you're, you're growing with instead of setting in it, you're good. It's going to be okay. It, it will be okay. It will be okay. But it's not going to be okay if you continue to wallow in your growing pains, okay? The pains that you're having. Right. And, and again, you guys, we, you got to really think about this in this way. But anytime we're uncomfortable in life and business and those relationships, all those kind of things, y'all, it is simply because we don't want to make a change. We don't want to make a change. Change is scary. Change is uncomfortable. Um, the unknown and all those kind of things. But here, here's the thing about it. OK, here's the thing about it. I would rather deal with the unknown of trying to make things better than to deal with the with what I do know, which is the fact that I'm uncomfortable and I don't like the position that I'm in. Okay. I don't like I don't like the stage I'm in. I don't like whatever this I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like anything about it. It's not helping me. So y'all I can go on and on with this because like I said I am I'm dealing with this myself. Um but Ashley, you know I have to stretch myself. I, there's no way around it if I'm going to continue to be the best version of me and to be able to help you guys. And so um, if this resonates with anybody, if y'all were like, you know, Ashley, like you were talking to me today, I just want to tell you right up front right now, it is okay. We've got this, okay? We were not, this thought did not come in your head to start your child care business or to be an owner of one for no reason. So please, 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 you know, take heed to that and um, and 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 don't let that negativity stop you from growing. OK, please, as I stated before, don't set with it. OK, don't set in it, but grow with it. All right. OK, y'all, listen, that is all I've got today, y'all. 
A lot of stuff going on behind the scenes here at Child Care Business Executive Tools, but it's a lot of good stuff. I am growing. I am going through some growing pains myself. It is a little bit uncomfortable for me. I am a little bit all over the place, you guys. Yes, that. yeah, I am. But I am, I'm getting it together because I just, I'm not going to accept anything less of myself than what I know I can do and you should, you should not either, okay? All right, y'all, so this was a little bit of a motivation today. So here's what I need for you to do. If you are trying to start your child care business, the link is going to be down below. It is my brand new updated child care business roadmap, what I call it, child care business startup roadmap guide. Um, when you click that link, it's going to take you on over there. Go ahead and put your name and email address in there so that we know where to send you the guides and all the stuff that you need. And along with the guide is a free one hour video on it. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through it so you're not confused and and all that good stuff. I give a lot of good nuggets in that. Um, and it's it should help you be able to kind of clarify the process, okay? Now, if you are already in business and you're already running your child care business, we are in the process, I'm in the, uh, in the process of also updating my child care business automation checklist. Um, um, actually, everything is all done. It just got to be packaged so that, you know, when you, when it gets to you that it's, um, that you can use it. So, uh, so I'm hoping I will have that ready by next week, y'all. It's just been, like I said, it's been a lot of stuff going on. I'm actually hiring. So uh, one of the things for me, you know, the business is kind of growing. Um, and um, it's just one of those things where it's like if I want to be able to go to the next level and do things, one of those things is having a live event. I want to meet you guys and be able to set and we talk and all those good things. And so that is something that I want to do. But for Ashley to do that, Ashley's going to have to get a little bit of some help. So I am actually hiring right now. Um, and in, in, actually, I'm in the interviewing phase. So um, and and all that. But I'm excited about it, y'all. And I just learned I just learned to just hang in there with my business, y'all, and hang in there with myself and be patient with yourself. Um, and and everything everything's going to be okay and it's going to work out. So, all right, y'all, listen, uh, that automation checklist, whenever we get that, that will be um, what I'm going to do because I've mentioned that three times. And so what we're going to do is when that's ready, I'm going to go back to the last videos that I had and I'll make sure to leave those. So it will be on this video. So if you're watching this two months from now, um, it should be down below. And uh, of course, you guys will, you'll get notification of everything. My email list, um, we'll be posting the group, all that good stuff. So, all right, you guys, um, I hope this helps somebody. I really do hope it helped you. And I will be back here next Thursday, if the Lord's will, um, to do another weekly video. Please know right now, you guys, that the 11 o'clock a.m., me coming in here from 11 to 12, I, the, right now that's not working out for me. But just know on Thursdays, I will be here um, and hopefully I'll be able to get back on my 11 to 12 p.m. kind of thing. So for anybody who is watching on YouTube, I forgot to mention this. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe if you have not subscribed, okay? And y'all, listen, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're doing like what I do when I watch YouTube videos, I'm cleaning my kitchen, I'm all that. Can you please just stop for a second and come like the video? <laughs> um, I'm the same way. I'll be watching YouTube videos and then... You know, they always say that. They'll say, um, like, and I'm like, oh, let me go over there and like her video or whatever. So please do that, you guys. That really just helps to be able to um, continue to push out my content to other child care business owners and those that want to get started and so that they're here and, and all that. And then also, YouTubers, hit the bell notification so that when these videos are ready for you to watch, you get notified. So um, if you're on YouTube and you ever want to join me live over on Facebook, you can normally do that um, every Thursday between 11 a.m. and 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Now, right now, with all the things, my business shifting and me growing with the business, um, that's a little bit off, but um, it will get back in order. And, and so the best thing I can tell you guys, Facebookers, YouTubers, just make sure that your notifications are turned on. If you're on Facebook, make sure your notification is set. Um, to be able, you know, so that you get notified when I am broadcasting. So, all right, y'all, listen, have a great rest of your Thursday. Please, please, please do not give up on yourself. Don't, don't be going down that road. I am giving you the permission and telling you that you can do this. It can be done. And um, until the next video, you guys, please, please, please stay blessed. As always, I am sending you my prayers of encouragement your way. 
and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, and thanks for joining.